So here we are in our last day in our Airbnb. Goodbye, comfortable bed. Goodbye, TV with five channels on it. Goodbye, lovely couch. Goodbye, toilet with a heating seat in it. Goodbye, Minhee. Hey. <laughs> Goodbye, sink and dishes. Goodbye, cheesecake. Goodbye, trash can. So long, Osaka. No, 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 no. Oh, it's like the smaller version of the S2000 that they don't sell in the US. Look at that. <laughs> hey, so we're in Osaka Station right now and uh, we're picking up some food before we go. Oh, I'll show you later. See. Of course, oh, we got 7 Eleven, just like drinks, and then we also got bento earlier. So the platform that we're gonna go to is actually that one. It's platform seven and eight towards Kyoto. Osaka Station is huge. Uh, so there's signs everywhere on top of the ceiling that give you a guide of where to go and where, what direction you should be going in. Um, so keep an eye out for that, especially if you feel really overwhelmed because there's so many people going to and fro that sometimes you can forget or you can feel just exasperated of where to go and get lost because you're out of your comfort zone if you've never been to Japan before. Um, so yeah, just keep an eye for that. Just stay calm, breathe. Think of it as an adventure. You're having fun, right? And uh, we'll see you in Kyoto. Some pickles. Uh, okay. 
noodles? It's cold. Okay. Oh, are they like cold noodles? I wish I had some hot sauce. There's no hot taste. Sweet or uh, hot? The crispy stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah the noodles. Same flavor as the beef. It's crispy stuff. Is it bamboo shoots? Looks probably it's crunchy. to go meal. It's cool how it has a little divider in the middle. But they had a whole bunch of different varieties and different types of proteins. Did they have any sushi kind or okay. so this seems more like you know home cooked meals, nice on the go lunch, like a hearty lunch. entrance right there. We just finished getting off the train from Osaka, wandering around, figuring out where the lockers were so we can put our suitcases away. Um, 
So there are a couple places we want to hit up here that were recommended by my brother Michael. Shout out to him. Uh, and some other things we want to see in the market, see what they have to offer food-wise, fun-wise, and come join with us. Let's go. Yeah, um, do they open that night then or no? no it's that night. Maybe it's just a couple places that are renovating or something, I don't know. Oh my goodness, look at this match. Oh, I think we have like uh, similar crackers for that over there. Yeah, see, she's giving samples. She's doing samples. You want to try some? Let me go over there. It's like a Japanese barbecue chip. So the market here seems super quiet or chill. Probably because it's like a Wednesday <laughs> is more the reason. But uh, it's more chill than you know, downtown Bori. It seems like the craftsmanship and stuff here seem a lot more uh, high quality, right? Like. Don't things seem like a lot more like you like high quality here, like handcrafted sort of things, uh, more so than Dantum Boy. Dantum Boy seems more like you know, like uh, let's go have fun, let's go check out these stores, go eat a bunch, drink beer. It seems more like chill. But like I was saying, here. <laughs> well, like I was saying earlier though, I was like it's probably because it's on a Wednesday, you know, everybody's working, things like that. Uh, maybe a bunch. There's a lot of specialty shops here. That shop is really cool. What do you like about it? It had all of these different spices, and then each picture showed you how spicy it was. And then they had like lettuce that you could dip in the sauce. So they had sauces and like rice and the seasoning sprinkled on top. Oh, so it's like different sauce. It's all rice seasoning. So like for Oh, nice. All right, well let's keep continuing and keep eating with our eyes. She beckons me over. Ooh. You want caramel? I'll take anything. Oh my goodness, look at these corn dogs. There's tofu sauce on them. Like, you know, okay. by the sixties. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll just go uh, find a place to sit and eat. Come on. Keep it still for a second, baby. <laughs> Just like two seconds. So these are the soy milk donuts, freshly fried with caramel sauce.
I don't really taste the soy milk at all. Really? What does it taste like then? It's like a donut. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Tender, crispy. Um, it's tender. A little, the edges are, or the skin is a little crispy. I don't think it's fresh, fresh. It was probably sitting for like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. At least it's slightly warm. It's not mm. like piping hot. So we didn't have the uh, Krispy Kreme finished donuts light on? Oh, we missed that. Mm -hmm. right. So, cameraman gets to eat sometimes. Mmm. I don't taste the soy milk. I'm not exactly sure what I could describe as soy milk, but it definitely has like a milky caramel taste to it because of the saucy drizzle. And uh, on top of that, I think the donut, is, it's got like a cakey texture, but it's, it's, light. it's lighter than cakey donuts. You know, if you've had like the, the plain Dunkin' Donut, I don't know what it's called, where it's like really cakey, there's no frosting on it, slightly sweet. It's similar to that, but it's, yeah. Wait, let me see if I can. Yeah, it's similar to that. Uh, but uh, it's better, it's lighter. How much was it? Um, the six piece was 300 yen. Um, I think if we wanted plain, it would have been 10 pieces for 300 yen, but since we got the caramel sauce, it cut it to six pieces, which is still plenty. All right, so this is actually, uh, they're like the, they're like munchkin size, you know, from Dunkin' Donuts. I keep on referring to this. I haven't had Dunkin' Donuts in a long time. Um, but yeah, right. uh, yeah, I mean they're like munchkin size. They'll definitely give you some energy throughout the day, and if you're walking around a lot, right? So for three bucks, six donuts, pretty good. I thought it was good, it's crispy. So we'll keep on going. Searches for slippers. Old lady slippers. Get out of here. Cabbage, <laughs> squid, quail eggs. Mm. And burdock. I'm guessing that means paddock. Tofu skin. Can you try that? Mm, quail egg. 
cheesy. My food. Alright, y'all, we just picked a tofu skin and shrimp. And some kind of greens or vegetable. It's, it's kind of. Good. It smells like a root. Here you go, you picked it. Mm. Oh, this is a fish cake. It's a fish cake. Um, it's interesting. I I never really recall what the tofu skin is like. Um, it seems like a popular thing now. But it's good. It's got a um, the tender fish cake on the inside. It's just tender on the inside. The tofu skin has like a Chewiness to it, uh, the fry the tofu is coming outside, which is why. It's a little greasy. Yeah, it's definitely a little, a little uh, umai. It smells like um, crab steak. It's warm, so it's just finished. That's good. I think they microwaved it just to warm it up before they serve it. As you can see, the theme here for me is just all meat, all deliciousness. Of it. Wow. Edamame. And then they grill it. You want to try one? It's edamame cheese. Heavy onion, so shrimp and onion. It's fish, it's fish cake, yeah, fish paste. I'll try it. Mm. Oh, they fry it. Fresh, too. Yeah. No, yeah, they fry it. Your, your pick is in. Your pick. Mini. There's squid. Squid for 350 or there's onion and stuff. Hey, the mummy. Oh, So this place is nice because after you order, uh, you know, there's a little bar in here you can stand and eat. And there's some flakes you can shake on if you want spice. Hmm. Got a little table right here. So, uh, let's see it real close. One second, babe. Ooh. Very nice. That's good. Here, we got this edamame fish cake on the skewer. They fry, oh my gosh, there's like juice coming off of it. The juicy juice. So there's definitely, it's really good. Uh, there's a full edamame. I wasn't. I was a little reserved once I smelled it because the edamame smell is really strong. 
But it's it's nice and salty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. If you like edamame, you're gonna love this. Edamame meat stick. Yeah. It's full edamame. This is a lot of edamame. There's probably like over 50 in here. Full edamame, you see. And they're warm. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that good? Uh, fish cake is really tender. Mm, it's actually slightly sweet. Uh, it's got slightly salty food from that one on it, which makes it perfect. It's like a it's like a quasi salty Yeah, they soothing. salted the edamame. Oh, they salted the, the edamame cake. and the fish cake is sweet. So it's like this nice contrast when you bite into it. And it's not like the sometimes fish cake can be really dense. This one's good. This one's tender. Mm. This is my favorite thing we eat so far. Mm, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.